Hey everybody, it's me, Kermit. Welcome back to my channel, Kermit Gaming. Today we're going to check out some more games from my friends. These are Muppet games. Uh, definitely, this is definitely my channel. And, oh. Huh. Definitely, um, yeah. 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 Definitely my, definitely my channel. Hang on a minute. Uh oh. Jeez. <laughs> definitely my channel. Where's Fozzie? Oh my god. Anyway, anyway, me and Miss Piggy, we've been, uh, you know, working on some, you know, our. Uh, streams together we're gonna do a, a, we're gonna do uh, uh, a competitive stream where we uh, fight each other and uh, but today we're gonna just check out some Muppet games and see what that is like uh, yeah Yay! 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 Uh, oh Oh my head! Oh my head! Oh God! Oh. Yeah, it's weird. I can do a better Kermit voice if I just have a uh, this microphone. Strange. Thanks, Kermit. Nice job, Kermit. Uh, thank you to the person that gave me the little Kermit puppet at PAX. I appreciate that. He's he's small and he's wonderful. I kept that one hidden from you, chat, just so I could use it today. Yay! Anyway, uh, I got the real Kermit. No, 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 I had special guest Kermit the Frog, who thought he was on the right channel. It's a shame. Anyway, uh, welcome everybody to the stream. The Muppet craze, you know, still going strong. Well, not really. I haven't really, I haven't really been watching any Muppet material lately. But I want to do a collection of Muppet games that I have. Turns out there were a lot of Muppet games, and I feel like people really um, responded to Muppets inside. I enjoy Muppets. You enjoy Muppets to some extent, as as uh, I've noticed, and I figure. Well, Red Jack will put together a collection of Muppet games, and it's like eight from various consoles, and I hope you enjoy them, because I've never played any of these. And let's see which one, by the end of this stream, is the best of the worst. I mean, is the best Muppet game. Whoa. What was wrong with that audio? Something's off. All right, let's uh, skip through this. Before Disney purchased the Muppets. This is Muppet monster adventure so it's like the ps1 haunted demo disc but even more haunted but this time by muppets so it's from um it's like Gnosis. why does it sound familiar and it's of course the year 2000 why are you playing the pal version i don't know <laughs> i have no idea wow a vacation we're finally taking a vacation. England, Greece, Arabia. Robin is not that annoying. China, exotic ports of call. And we're not going to any of those places. Who's that? Instead, we're here to run down oh, Robin. Old castle in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God! I know you're disappointed, Robin, but we had to accompany Doctor Honeydew for the reading of his oh late God. uncle's will. Low poly Muppets. It's, it's so weird. To be there for friends at a time like this. Oh, but I have a bad feeling about this, Uncle Kermit. I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. I don't like this. I don't want to see What's Muppets that? like move with their feet. 
Low poly full body Muppets Relax, makes me Robin, uncomfortable. It's just a tree. Nothing to be afraid of. <clears throat> Nothing at all. <laughs> I can't imagine anything living here except things that aren't alive anymore. No, Does no, any Master Robin. Oh. Uncle Petrie had quite a flair for the dramatic, but I assure you we're perfectly safe. Look at Bunsen's hand. Ah, a monster! Are you alright, Master Robin? <laughs> Wake up again. Oh. What happened? Where's Rizzo the rat? The news is that you, Beaker, Pepe, and myself are unharmed. What's the bad news? Unfortunately, your Uncle Kermit, Miss Piggy, and the others have been Are transformed dead. into hideous oh. monsters. Oh. oh no! See, oh, yes! we managed to escape, and I found my Uncle Petrie's secret lab. We're safe for now, but the master's evil energy is permeating the entire village. They could live as ghosts. Area is rapidly becoming evil, 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 evil. So, what are we going to do? I'm so glad you asked me that question, my young friend. Here at Muppet Labs Europe, we have developed some <laughs> special devices that will help you return our friends to their old selves and save the village to boot. First, this power glove is guaranteed uh, uh, to get even the most stubborn an... evil out of any monster. Once removed, Three -finger the oven mitt. is stored in this clever backpack, lest it get back out into the world again. I must still be dizzy. It sounded like you said I would save everyone. The backpack and glove are designed specifically for the amphibian anatomy. Wow, what a coincidence! <laughs> Look directly at the okay, camera, why don't you? Be alone in your journey. Beaky and I will monitor your status constantly. But I... I think yep, you're yep. forgetting someone again. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Pepe. My apologies. I will take it from here again. I, Pepe the King Prun, will be broadcasting from this convenient little <laughs> transmitter here <laughs> to tell you oh. how to get around <laughs> the village. <laughs> when you see my face, I will have something to say that will help you out. Together, we will save Carmen again. Uncle <laughs> Carmen? Oh, Uncle Kermit. This is what I said. Did you say Carmen? Oh. Mm, I it, don't know. I've never done anything like this before. You can do it, Master Robin. Your uncle and all of our friends need you. Well, I guess I could give it a try. Enough with the talking. Get on with the saving, okay? You're a tough frog again. You're a brave frog again. Get the monsters! Get the monsters! Go, 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 go! <laughs> There's so much of this. Good luck, Master Robin. Okay, again. I like that he just calls him Carmen. Doesn't even know his name. They've been friends for how many years? How dare you, Pepe? Okay, that was a good bit. I like that. This is this is a crusty game. I like this crust. Some good crust, Frangie. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh this boy. is the hub, okay? From here, you can access all of the entire worlds, okay? You must, however, have enough evil energy to open some levels. But you also need Muppet tokens to open new worlds for you to explore. <laughs> so, oh, it's gonna be a collectathon, I guess? How many levels are there? Jesus Christ. A lot of levels, if this is what I think it is. Um, I, I, I'm going to assume it's going to be like Croc and Gex. Gotta love those PS1 graphics, though. Okay. Kind of shocking that you play as Robin. Collect your morph powers, okay. This has got a very strange resolution. Is that the exact same sound effect from Crash Bandicoot? Hola. 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 Vinny, it's Pal. Um, did this game come out, come out in uh, America, or is there only a Pal version? Looks like the Spyro engine. It really does. So again, this is Muppet Monster Adventure. 
it came out stateside. Well, I don't know specifically why I have the Europe edition, but it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Um. Get three more Waka Waka Werber amulet pieces, and it will be time to climb, okay? <laughs> now keep in mind, this is after Crash, after Spyro, after Banjo Kazooie, even. Amulet. Okay. Man, this is some good utilization. Like, I'm- I'm pretty, um... I'm pretty happy we got some Pepe and Robin, because it's like underutilized Muppet characters taking some of the... the spotlight. Though the game itself, I don't know if I'd play the whole thing. This is like Halloween. Trick or treat, okay? <laughs> The pumpkin container is filled with evil energy you can collect if you shoot it, or use just spin attack on it. Now, hang on a minute. Why does the music have to stop? The music is so good. Why does it stop? While I'm talking to Pepe. Hola. Hola. I like that I just have like a like a psychic gun. Okay, so Castle Von Honeydew. Oh, I see. There's there's different areas you can go to, and, and each character has their own area. This this seems okay-ish. If, if I got this for Christmas, I'd play it. Oh yeah, that's the power glove. Yeah. You should say to the helmet, stick him up, okay? <laughs> it only opens if you shoot it. Don't go and spin. You'll just get dizzy, okay? Half-Life Robin. I like this. It's it's got a PS1 charm to it. It reminds me of some of my um some of the demo discs that I had. Not even full games, demo discs. But if you're starved from Muppet content in the late nineties, early two thousands, and you get this, you could do a whole lot worse. There's a Muppet drought happening right now too, chat. We're in the middle of a Muppet drought. I know that sound effect. What the fuck is that sound effect? Why is it so familiar? Hola. Earthworm Jim. I guess it's just one of those, like, you know, Shutterstock scream sound effects. If you collect all of these letters from around the level, it will spell bonus, okay? And something special will happen, okay? Those letters also spell Buson and Sonub, but I don't know what those words mean, okay? <laughs> Busan and Sonub. Sonub a beach, okay? <laughs> Cannot kill peacocks. Three more Mutt Monster Amulet Hola. pieces. You'll be diving in the deep end, okay? The water looks nice, no? Agua fresca. <laughs> you should jump in and swim around, okay? Okay. Let's see. Uh, games are made or broken by their swimming controls. Don't know how to dive. Need more amulet to dive. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm I'm like half-heartedly paying attention to the, the things he's saying because I just like hearing the, the silly voice. You know, if it's like a Sunday stream and I'm playing a million games in one night, I tend to tune out stuff um, and grump it. Uh, it's it's a flaw of mine. It's a fatal flaw. Some would say. Why are there so many songs about Muppets? Do you only need one more piece of the Werebear amulet? And then I guess I turn into Foz. Okay. This pickup stores your status 
every time you pick it up again, this means you don't have to keep saving the game. <laughs> when you die and you have more lives left, you will reappear at the point you collected the restart pickup. I have no idea what this means. <laughs> I just read it again. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was improv by the voice actor. No, it's probably not, but that, I like that. That's that's charming. It's good. Collect all four Nosferatu Amulet pieces, and you'll be a flying frog in no time, okay? I want to see at least one transformation, maybe two. Yeah, a Muppet Collectathon. It's it's uh you know it's limited a little bit because I'm using the D-pad. This probably has analog support. I wouldn't be surprised. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, screen. Doesn't have analog support. Let's try active camera. Yeah, it works well as a premise. I think this has a lot of um, charm, and it's just limited a little bit by the technology. But I, again, would have played this in the year 2000, no problem. Some warp pad. Did you need a little pick me up during the game? Try standing on one of these super jump pads, okay? In the words of James Brown, get up, get on up, okay? Get up, get on up, okay? <laughs> well, he didn't say the okay part, but uh, do you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> why, why is this dude funny? I don't know what's wrong with me. Man, no double jump. Needs. I need the Fozzie amulet. Also, active camera seems to help a little bit more. I just love that it's the crash sound effect for the spin. That's incredible. Also, the... That's the, um... Apparently, that's from Neverhood. Or it's in Neverhood as well. Forgot about that. He talks like Quentin Tarantino. He's he's a French Quentin Tarantino. Okay, now this is a Muppet game about Kermit's feet. How do they walk anyway? You don't ever see the feet in the Muppets. I'm gonna change that in my movie. Okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just keep, keep running. It's very clean look for a PS1 game. Very, um, very easy to understand what's happening. It's good for kids and maybe even people who just want to play collectathons. I, I think that this is, um, I haven't played most of the game, but just... Oh, yeah. you only need two more pieces of the Nosferatu amulet, okay? Pretty good. Did anyone play this as a kid? This is a switch, okay? This and others like it can do mucho things, okay? From opening doors to changing the world around you. Someone said, I like how the visuals are less jiggly than other PS1 games. Well, this is also five years after the PS1 came out, so a lot of techniques had been developed, but yeah, you're right, the textures don't jiggle and warp quite as much. Oh, 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 you only need one more piece of the Nosferatu amulet! <laughs> Nosferatu! Blah. Sunob. Nobus. N no sub. Yeah, this, this has to be. The, this looks so much like the Spyro engine. 
I'm not gonna say for sure that it is, but it very, it very much looks like that. Congratulations! You have collected enough evil energy to open the next level, okay? No sub. Oh shit. No subs this stream. It is the same engine as Stuart Little 2. A surprisingly good platformer. What? Stuart Little 2? Promised, I, Pepe, will be on the air to help you rescue Kerman and the rest of our friends. Still Kerman? When you see my receiver, come up and hear what I have to say. Don't be shy, okay? <laughs> Just would love to do a transformation into, like, Gonzo or something. But clearly... Oh, I went all the way back down. I went down and around. Okay. Uh, I'll try one more time. Whoa, it's stuck on the scenery there, huh? There is one nice thing about this. If you hold the R button, you just run, and you don't have to hold forward, because my, my, um... My thumb was starting to hurt. Now it's good. Good work, amigo. The Waka Waka Whale Bear's power to climb is yours, okay? I am certain you'll stay on top of every what? situation. This is totally different dialogue. Me. That was totally different dialogue. And I need to see it again because I don't know how to transform Good into Fozzie. Good work, amigo. The Waka Waka Whale Bear's power to climb is yours The icon again. will float into the screen I'm when you're standing next to any surface. Oh, I see, I see. From now on. It just helps you platform when you're near the spot where you, you can platform. I, I understand. Okay. <laughs> Do you only need two more pieces of the Muck Monster Amulet? <laughs> Yeah, it's a neat game. Good. Hola. Fine. It's cool. Vinny, go climb the vines on the wall. Okay, I'll try to do that. Hola. I just don't know if- does Robert- I was gonna call him Robert. Holy fuck. I'm doing the same thing Pepe's doing. There it is. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so weird! Dios mio, you only need one more piece of the Muck Monster Amulet, okay? So strange. I hated the way that looked. It was- it was so- it was so disgusting, and then it had Robin's voice. Ready for some in-depth interviews, hmm? Eh? Mm. <laughs> eh? Mucky the Muck Monster's swim bar will let you run silent, run deep, and explore more underwater, okay? Decent swimming controls. Eh, they're okay. It's a little fast, but not bad. Got very Majora's Mask in here. It's the Zora transformation. You have no Sforotu's glide power, okay? Now you can rescue everyone in the village with more on-time flights than any superhero, okay? <laughs> so now Gonzo can help me fly. Oh, that's weird. Just glide. It's the fucking... the sailcloth from Zelda. Basically. This game is, is kind of very good, I'd say. I wouldn't just say good, I'd say... I'd say it's almost very good. Again, some hardware limitations, but... Um, almost very good. 
It's the Spyro Glide. Yeah, it is. If you're, a, you know, if you're a Muppet fan, you live in the year 2000. Some of you may still live in the year 2000. I don't know. You know, time travelers, ghosts, whatever. But not a not a bad choice if you like platformers, collectathons, and Muppets. I was very surprised with the quality of this game, and it's got a monster theme, great music. You got the original, well, not the original. You got the the Muppet voices. I would say, you know, Jim Henson's obviously not doing Kermit, but um, Steve Whitmire is. And uh, it just feels like a good little Muppet experience. So I, I... This is off to a pretty interesting start. If only this came out when the DualShock came out. This would benefit heavily from um, analog controls. I'm using the D-pad. And it's tuned well for the D-pad. Like, it, it plays uh, pretty good. But, analog would have definitely improved it a little further. Cool game. Vinny, it has analog. It does have analog. I'm, I'm pressing the... Pressing the buttons. Maybe, um... Controller. Yeah, no. Maybe, maybe there's a different way. Press the analog button. It's an emulator setting. Uh, okay. Does anyone know where that is in BizHawk? Nobody uses BizHawk except you. Ah, you're right. You're right, Kermit. Nobody uses BizHawk. It plays every game. And I don't have to use 20 emulators to play 20 different games. The analog buttons for games that don't have analog. Most of them have a button for switching. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure what, what to do to switch it to analog, but I'm- maybe we'll just move on to the next one. Cool game. That was M Muppet game. Uh, this is Muppet Race Mania. Also, PAL version, for some weird reason. I have no problem with that. Um, so yeah, it's it's like, a, I guess, a kart racing Muppet game, which I'm surprised. The PAL version does not have analog. Oh. Okay, so another Jim Henson interactive title. Wow, look at that text. It really makes you want to go to their website. Um, I don't like this. That is real fucking weird. And yet completely obvious. Of course Beaker's fucking neck would be the loading bar. Speaker, what are you doing with your neck? There seems to be blood flowing to your neck through its large veins. Beep, beep, beep. Beaker, you seem overly excited. Your blood pressure is through the roof. I think you and I would make a great team. If you want to win. I wonder if that was Frank Oz that did that. Because think about that for a minute. That's Yoda that just did that. I'm Gonzo the Great. I'm Fozzie. Another Frank Oz. Hey, how you doing? It's Rizzo. The Red. Steve Whitmire. Go for Rizzo. You get to race his cheese. Oh, 
great. What the fuck is going on here? Let's let's do it. Are, are we? Is this a Muppet racing game that takes place during Christmas? Diddy Kong Racing? Um, more like Shitty Kong Racing. I hope I don't have to get this stuff. I'm ready to race. I, I select Test Drive. Yo, this is Rizzo here. Oh. Uh. Okay, good. Well, I'm ready to race now. Meet the Muppets, select course. Oh, I guess it's just select course. Why are there so many? Wait, is that a still from the Muppet movie where Kermit's in the swamp singing? I've heard it oh, it is. Too many times to Do you have to play this song? It's something that I'm supposed I, I can't listen to this song and not get emotional, God damn it. <sighs> yeah, this will get VOD muted. Disney now owns my stream again. Yes, he says Rue at the end of his song for some reason. I don't really... I don't know. He just says Rue. Hey, oh yeah, now Disney has owned my stream for lady? years at this point. I can't. I'm swamped. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there's a lot more characters. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? How many fucking characters are in this game? How many carts are in this game? Man, everyone is here. The Muppet anchor and everything? Oh, you have to copy the buttons to boost? Oh no, it's not good. Oh no, the controls are, are pretty. Uh, well, let's just say this they're just not tight. It's very, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not Crash Team Racing. I'll tell you that much. It is definitely not CTR. Definitely not Mario Kart. Oh god. It's the camera kind of blows too. Looks like bumper cars. It's bumper cars with a shitty camera. Your cart also has one handling. Yeah, I chose the cheese. So that, um, maybe I'll try a different cart and see what happens, but this one's rough. Even with one handling, I, I can tell you that this does not really get close to CTR's tightness and goodness. It's playable. Music is pretty dope. Muppet music is always really good. They do not fuck around with music. Benny, would you say that the, this cart is no Gouda? I hate you. Or, or rather... Waka waka! There's an unlock cheat. There's a cheat that unlocks everything. Okay, someone posted it in chat. Let's see what it is. Okay, to unlock, at the title screen, press triangle. Title screen, so triangle. Circle, triangle, square, triangle, X, triangle, triangle, X, circle. Ooh. 
Where's the circle? Is that on the left or the right? That's on the right. Okay, because my controller obviously does not have a circle on it. Alright, alright, alright. Tri triangle, square, triangle, X, triangle, triangle, X, circle. Cool. Okay, so we got Swamp. Is there a way to unlock all the courses? Happiness Hotel from the Great Muppet Caper. These are all Muppet movie. Muppets take Manhattan and Central Park. Oh, this is kind of a cool compilation. Muppet Treasure Island. Hang on a minute. Now that, I've not seen Muppets from Space, I don't think. Maybe when I was a little kid, but I don't remember it at all. So we'll do Muppet Treasure Island, then I'll do the next cheat. I gotta do more Muppet movie, because that's the best one. See the world, you said. Now here we are stuck on the front of this stupid ship. Well, it could be worse. We could be stuck in the audience. Oh! <laughs> just showing clips from the movie. Don't worry. Again, Disney just continues to own my stream one moment at a time. Is that the Jolly Roger? Maybe. But if it's in this game, it won't be jolly for long. Oh! Scooter Pepe. Link. Robin. Bean button. Look at all these Muppets. Jesus, there's so many Muppets. Hey, fuck it. Pepe it is. In a hot dog. I, I give the game credit for having some amazing variety. When it comes to carts and characters and levels. And it really makes you um, appreciate the Muppet legacy, but I don't I don't know if I like playing this. Also, camera is way too zoomed out. Let me see if there's a if there's like a camera button. Frame rates are good. Then again, you only get to see three feet ahead of you, but such as PS1 life. I don't know about this game. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. Dubious. This is of dubious quality. I know I'm not the best at kart racers or video games, but... Tracks need to be a little bit bigger, the camera needs to be a little bit closer, controls need to be a little bit tighter. There, there's some, you know, fundamental issues that I'm having with this game, but it, again, it's so charming. Everything's floaty and, and I think Pepe's drunk. Okay. Ah, okay. What was the unlock, um, stage... thing? Whoa. Triangle, circle, triangle, square, triangle, X, triangle, triangle, X, circle. Muppets and vehicles, got that one. At Vine Sauce, you're blinded by no your nostalgia. Well, I just said I didn't really like the game all that much. <laughs> I I mean, yeah, I like the Muppets a lot. They're good. But I've never played this when I was younger, so... Arches. Also, can we do an extended Meet the Muppets? Oh yeah, they're all here. They're just, yeah. just like the Muppet Show. I'm Dr. Teeth. Can you dig it? Man, everyone is here. This is the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Hi, I'm Robin. Greetings. I'm Link Hogthrob, of course. Of Muppet. Oh, uh, uh, you, uh, pick, pick me. Yeah. Someone had a bad microphone during this recording session. Pick me, okay? 
I'm the one to pick, okay? Very handsome, okay? Pick me, pick me, come on, come on. What are you waiting for, okay? Pick me. Nice buzz. Hang on a second. I wonder if Kermit. Hello, Kermit the Frog here. Spotless audio. <laughs> Clean. Wait, Doozer, this is from Fraggle Rock. And Doozer at your service. Right? The dumper. The first crossover. It really is the Smash Ultimate. You get to check out all the vehicles. You got a flying saucer. I again I'm Vinny, the game is pretty solid, though the controls, you gotta get used to how it works in general. It's way more chaotic compared to other kart racers. Kadikaris made a good video about it. It's ambitious. Um, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. I, I did not quite enjoy the controls. Maybe if I spent time getting used to it, maybe when I was younger, and if I had played it. Uh, this is not a level select code. Muppet Kart Racing Level Select Code Scrambled Muppets Unlock All Tracks, okay Circle Triangle X Circle Triangle X Circle Triangle Square X Alright So we've got the ghost town area, the canyon, fun fair. Oh, I like the fun fair. Um, what else did I unlock? D down here. Battle arches. Okay, there's a battle area. Um, all the Muppet from space stuff. Let's do the uh, fun fair. I wonder if it's going to show a clip too. I mean, they have the CD format. Yeah, so I see. What for? You said I could come with you. Yeah, Disney. Cream, this is Disney food. proof, Elijah Wood. <laughs> no, I, I mean, listen, when I, when I said, I mean, well, when you heard, uh, uh, oh, brother, uh, That's okay, if I show this, there's no way Disney's gonna be able to claim this video. I just the humor is so like the the writing is very good in that first Muppet movie. It's Have always you ever good. Seen but... a Aren't we watching one right now? Go! Oh! <laughs> Miss Piggy and oh oh she's got the hot dog, huh? What the fuck is this now? This isn't... Huh. Interesting. So now it's kind of like, um... Like Trials or something. Oh. Uh, clearly I'm not doing this right. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Take the bridge. Right, yes. Okay, hang on a minute. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Taking the bridge. Taking the bridge. You can do it. Get there slowly, but... Go. Go across the bridge. <laughs> oh, man. What's that? Oh, you fucked up? Gotta go all the way back. Sorry. Oh, I don't... I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all.
And... I fucked up. Wow. I can't do any more. Sorry, we'll do one more level. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell. That's a- it's a stunt trial race, so they're trying to do some different things. I get it. If anyone here grew up with this game, and you're just like, wow, Vinny's terrible at this. Yes. Y yes I am. It's- it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Let's do Muppets Take Manhattan. Just New York City. Just regular old New York City. Let's see what it looks like. I'll tell you if I recognize any street corners. I love the outfit that Kermit's wearing. That was it? Oh. New York, the city that never sleeps. Until the frog and his friends bore him to death. Oh, 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 oh. Interesting boost mechanic, though. I'll give it that. Like, there's like a little mini game that you have to play right at the beginning there. You know, this this level feels a lot better. This is um. This is a good deal more tolerable, because it's so wide open. Oh, I missed those shortcuts. Oh, come on, Kermit. content you all are here for. You just want me to say Miss Piggy no as Kermit. Oh, you do? Oh, good, good for you, Kermit. You made it. Those things are made out of fucking concrete. Great job. We won. Yay! Oh, fuck. I didn't expect that to be so You're loud. Right. I had no volume control there. You're being awfully nice. <laughs> Holy so shit. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. Vinny, oh. did you see the video of Kermit getting shot on Twitter? Yes. Um, yeah, I did. Kermit getting shot. Um, there's one of him doing cocaine. That's the immediate first thing. Um, yeah, I'm not logged into Twitter right now. If anyone can email that to me in downloadable form, I will definitely show it on stream. Anyway, this game is frustrating. I want to like it much more than I do. It has the history of the Muppets, the movies. It's great. But yet, there's just something about it. It's it's just a diff... Oh, I got it. Okay, we got it. Thank you. Um, it, it felt a little bit too sluggish for my taste, but it was very cool. Uh, maybe I would have liked it had I grown up with it. I just uh, had a lot of trouble with it. Aside from that one open map. Maybe there were other maps that were kind of open that would have been cool. What the? Ginger, no! Oh, fuck. Wait, that's the wrong one. What the? Yeah, that's the wrong one. That's the one with the, <laughs> the most recent meme. 
Hang on a minute. Oh, here it is. No context violence. I'll show you this one. So, I don't know what Conan O'Brien had to do with this, but Conan O'Brien's acting in this is spectacular. Ginger, no! It's even better. It's even better that a dog shoots Kermit. What the? Ginger, no! That's the newest thing. That's going around as of like the past two days. Interestingly enough. So that's like brand new uh, meme content from 20 years ago. As it usually happens. That dog has shot people twice before. It was a skit for attack dog training. Yeah, that sounds like early Conan. That definitely sounds like early Conan. Alright. Let's continue the Muppet collection. With Vinny getting something to hydrate with because because that seems like a good idea <sighs> you could use that if you need sound effects if you're making a video game if you're making a cartoon you need some, like, over-the-top slurping sound effects. There you go. Next is Spy Muppets License to Croak. <laughs> oh, nice fake James Bond music. Wants to be your James Bond! He wants to be your James Bond! Don't worry, the mouse cursor was part of the game. So this is GBA. For goodness sake, Agent Frog, don't be so jumpy. Aren't you the world's greatest secret agent? I can't do a, a Sam voice. Uh, actually, that's the world's wettest secret agent. Oh, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> my name is Nathan Fielder. That explains the, <laughs> the bottles. <laughs> I give up. Danger leaves me neither shaken nor stirred. Agent Patriot, what's my mission? That's more like it. Agent Frog, now pay attention. We've learned of a major plot that may involve many of our arch foes. King Prawn, Dr. Nose, even that good secret agent turned bad, Piggy Galore. Piggy. Galore. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy galore is piggy galore. <laughs> oh no. Put your personal feelings aside for once, Agent Frog. This is serious business. I cannot do a Sam voice. Wow. Go to the high tech global, see all kinds of stuff, tracking room, and decide which villains to pursue first. I'll advise you on your next steps. Strange. The fuck is going on here, man? Weird. Weird. <laughs> that could be a gif. That could be a fucking reaction gif. The secret hidden evil league of lobsters is somehow mixed up in this scheme. They're acting fishy. Ah, Shell's leader, King Prawn, is holed up in his hidden headquarters. However, we've spotted a number of Shell operatives preparing to leave the area. 
follow them to their secret hideout. Agents B and B are waiting to help prepare- Well, that- I mean, it, it makes sense to drop the Muppets into Spy World and have them be the queue. Ah, uh, yes, unfortunately we are somewhat busy, Agent Frog. The boat is nearly ready, but some last-minute additions will be necessary by you. By me? But that's your job! You'll do fine, Agent Frog. Good luck, and be sure to bring us enemy gadgets. Oh, well, that's odd. Well, I'd better get to the workshop before those hench lobsters get away. These faces are just perfect. They're so scummy. Oh, this is a mini game collection? Oh, I don't like this game. <laughs> it's so farty, too, the music. <laughs> that shouldn't be funny. I've heard that sound. I've heard that music somewhere. I can't fall too far behind that shell lobster's boat or they'll get away! Oof. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shitty minigame collection. Not really even a good one. Not a good shitty minigame collection, and those do exist. I've played plenty of them. Someone said, why does this movie exist? It wasn't like it was a movie tie-in or anything. Um, just, just like, you know, low effort, uh, paycheck. Aha! It's, it's kind of fucking hilarious, at least. Did I win? Why did I bother with the scuba gear? I'm a frog. Oh well. Alright, Colonel. I'm infiltrating Shadow Moses Island. Oof. Yeah, this is not the content. This is not the Muppet content that I'm here for. Yeah, there was like a sleep button. Well, on easy mode, you only ever have to <laughs> look at the buttons. Ah! For you, we've spotted some of her hench pigs. 
But I'm no mechanic, that's your job! Oh, do I have to do the thing again? Oh, God. <laughs> I guess it goes the same way pretty much every time. You know, construct your vehicle. You gotta build your own vehicle, and then you you play some really not great mini games. Same fucking thing. Same thing. And I just wasted all of my my ammo. Muppets on with the show. Whoa, this sounds like key gen music. What the hell's going on here? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. 2002. I feel like with each game I play, we're falling further from God and from like the Muppet vibe and also from budget. All right, guys, it's time for our big number. Is everything ready on stage? Well, we have added some more performers. They are our friends. You should be able to work around them. Work around them? In my boat? Kermy, no matter how many performers are out there, Ma is still the biggest star, right? I have no doubt about that. And now, Kermit's banjo, Bayou Serenade. <laughs> Get to Robin. All this music. I don't like Kermit's hand. I don't- I'm pressing buttons and nothing is happening. Fozzie's, like, drowned. Oh no! Look, the frog's on a boat! I think he's gone overboard this time! Well, that's one way to make a splash in show business! Well, now I can't just do the spin. You know what I mean? Like, I can't spin anymore. I'm so confused. Also, the Statler and Waldorf writing is, is very, very lazy. It's about as exciting as wet bread. You're, all you're supposed to do is dodge? 
I have a better idea. Why don't we get the fuck out of Dodge and play Muppet Pinball instead? Some, like, really overly sharp, crusty JPEGs. You see that? I feel like they put a sharpen filter on this and, like, bumped it up way too high. We are the Krusty Muppets. We are the Krusty Crew. We don't have good graphics, but here we are for you. Oh, I hate the fucking graphics in this game so much. I'm sorry, can you say that again? I am Kermit! The fuck did they get to do Kermit? That didn't- I don't know where that was. That was either a clip from 1976, or someone just crusting into a microphone. Is that like a green fist punching the pinballs out? Again, the visuals on the GBA had to be pretty bright. Because, um, there's no backlight. So, for those of you who played Castlevania Circle of the Moon on launch, pretty much know what I'm talking about. But, um, a lot of games got overly bright and look pretty rough when emulated. Not that this is that. For some reason, I'm aware of this console eating light. It didn't just not have light, it ate and, and swallowed all of the light source. In the room, in, on your block, anywhere. It just like, it was like a weird material. Also, did, did anyone here feed their daylight saving squid last night? I hope you were... I hope you were, um... able to provide them with the juices that they... they deserved. In order to... reach the next day, and not go back in time. Seawood Adventure. I guess that means you gotta go through all of the boards one at a time. Um... Hi, I'm Kermit. That kinda sound like Jim Henson. I mean, it's pinball. It's, it's confusing, but it still functions as pinball. It's no Metroid Prime pinball, but it's, it's pretty good. It's also one of the weirdest fucking crossovers, even weirder than Federation Force. The fact that Metroid Prime had a pinball game? Strange. And it was good, too. Mario had pinball. Um, Pokemon had pinball. So, we don't really see a whole lot of pinball crossovers these days. I used to love pinball. When I would go to Wildwood, New Jersey. I still do, but when I went there when I was a kid, there was this one arcade. I forget what hotel had it, but they had this massive arcade. And, uh, there was a lot of good pinball there that I would play. And then one night there was a meteor shower. And I went and watched that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of playing pinball. That was a memory that I had not unlocked in 20-something years. It just came back to me now for the first time. Well, it certainly is pinball, everybody.
Yes, indeed. Well, how about this? How about we go back to the past even a little further? So, from GBA to GBC. Muppets. The. Europe. Made by fucking Rockstar? What? Muppet voice. Voices courtesy of Frank Oz and Richard Goyles. Who was that? And Steve Whitmire. Well, this is not the Muppet theme song that I'm aware of. Sounds pretty decent for GBC. Animations are pretty decent for GBC, too. Gonzo looks a little strange. I won't tell if you don't. Are they? Wait a minute, is this Chrono Trigger? They're, are they going into the time machine? With no explanation? The telepod. Day of Lavos is upon us. Um, just no music here at all, no sound effects, that's fine. Animal just flossed? We can't, don't, don't tell me that. Look at this Kermit, look at, look at this fucking Kermit crust. I love it. It is- oh, I don't like his hand. GBC Kermit hand makes me uncomfortable. I- I literally just rewound, don't mind me. So there's... 1 million BC with the Swedish chef. There's 4,000 BC in Egypt with Miss Piggy. There's 50 AD in Greece? I think? Or is that Rome? With Fozzie. That's Rome, sorry. Um... 1,000 AD with Rolf. 1,400 AD with Gonzo. And, uh, 1850 AD. Alright. Oh, that's cowboys. It's cowboy times. I don't know why Cowboy Times were so... ...so appealing. Yeah! Someone needs more practice! He's gonna propel himself out of this level! Yeah. Oh no. Well... Well... It's okay, so far, just from a control perspective. Rockstar has seen their better days, let's put it that way. Carmen, why don't- why didn't you bring a gun with you? Look at the bottom left, Kermit's like hiding. Fucking disintegrated. The future refused to change. <laughs> this should not have been- there should not have been a D at the end of that statement. <laughs> I just- I think I just had like a little mini stroke there. Yeah.
Go up there. Oh, God damn it. No, this this isn't something I would I would like very much to play. Even for GBC, uh, a lot of this, like, the camera is just making me, like, nauseous. If you want to see how to do a great platformer on Game Boy, just look at Mario Land 2. Or Wario Land. Like, there's ways to do it. Those games are still fucking good. There's plenty of decent Game Boy Color platformers. But, yeah, this is, um, it's not the worst one. So that's something. You get a medal for trying, Muppet Game. Rockstar. Donkey Kong 94 is, is ac actually kind of amazing. But, yeah, this- this one, um... It's, like, kind of stiff. The camera whips around. As a platformer, it's pretty uninspired. It's better than the last two Muppet games, at least. This is playable. Again, as a Christmas gift, I have to always compare it to, like, like, oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kermit! Oh no! That was... Oh. I have to compare it to games that I got for Christmas uh, gifts that I didn't know about. And, like, one of them was Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle, which was not a great game by any means, but I played the fuck out of it because I didn't have that many games. So it was just play whatever I had. Uh, or Quirk, which was actually pretty good. But, yeah, there were plenty of games. Eh, what's up, dick? Sorry. Um, there are plenty of games I got for Christmas that I didn't particularly like, but I just played anyway. If I got this, I would have played it, but I'm not, I'm not into it. Even with the cool time travel theme. I know this music. What is this music? Ron Ron Roo? Oh my god. Well anyway, this is Muppet Adventure from 1990, Chaos at the Carnival. Miss Piggy kid- uh, Pignap. Notorious Carnival owner Dr. G Grump? Is prime suspect. Superstar Pig may be captive on Carnival grounds. Kermit and the Muppets to attempt daring rescue. I feel like I've played this. Oh, I have played this. Chad, I played this years ago. Oh my god, I remember this music. This was part of some of the shitty NES games that I used to play, like, eight years ago. This music is ingrained in my fucking skull. Oh man. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not good Muppets. This is even wor- Honestly, I think Jack will package these games from, like, good to terrible, on purpose. So, well done. Mission accomplished. Vinny, I think this was on a shitty plug-and-play. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably was. I've probably played this, like, seven or eight different times in different iterations. Yeah. Yeah, it's just shitty Muppets. This came out in 1990. Isn't that the year that Jim Henson passed away? It's a bad year for the Muppets. Muppets deserved way better. They still do. Okay, and now it just looks like Fozzie's on the ceiling. Lazy. Vinny, that's not Fozzie. That's Animal? Hang on a minute, let me get closer to the... That is Animal. <laughs> I couldn't tell! I thought it was Fozzie! Oh, 
Um, I don't think I need to mention how bad these controls are. You can probably just see it, right? Action 52? Yeah, it, it's getting close to Action 52. Except this is Muppet 4. It's just four terrible minigames. Space ride. Gonzo. Oh, dear lord. Well, it's asteroids, but with a twist. The twist being it's bad. <laughs> Everything else is asteroids, of course. Um, the asteroids don't split. Yeah, just worse controls, um, less intuitive. I got addicted to the original Asteroids for a while. That was one of the few arcade games that I actually ended up playing for many, many, many hours. There was a PC version that was like a recreation of the arcade version, and I, for some reason, that was one of the few arcade games in my life where I ever attempted high score. Um, Donkey Kong came with Donkey Kong 64, so I played that a little bit too, but mostly, yeah, Asteroids I, I really liked. And there was some decent versions. I think GBC had a decent version of Asteroids, um, with a lot of bonus stuff. Like, PS1 had good Asteroids. Oh, here's Fozzie. Oh god, he's m fucking massive. He just looks like a giant. This Fozzie looks smelly. Yeah, I don't- I don't know how I feel about any of this. I do know how I feel. Let me search my feelings. It's- it's fucking terrible. Really, Fozzy? That thing is less than half your size. What is that? Who is that? Is that Rizzo? I can't tell. I don't know what- what's going- Is it Rizzo? Shouldn't be. It's fucking weird. But- Oh man, imagine spending $50 on this game. Oh, my son's a big Muppet fan. I saw a Muppet Nintendo game. I love them Nint Nintendo games. They keep him so quiet. Ten minutes later, this game fucking sucks, Mom! That's it, four mini games, and they're all terrible. What a shame. Well, that's the last one. Except it's not. Muppets Party Cruise. We got one more. This is a PS2 game. And uh, I'm gonna load it up. Just give me a second. Okay. Just need to find the thing and then we will have the stream. Got it. Muppet Party Cruise.
please play the credits? I will, when I'm done with the... Checking out the game, I'll... Ch check out the credits. Nothing says Muppets like Matrix music. Everybody, the pictures from our cruise are ready. I've made a really cool photo album too. I... What? Chat, I didn't press any buttons. Wait a minute, maybe the controller slipped? Hey, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. God damn it. Sorry about that, chat. <sighs> Time for a new PS3 controller? <laughs> Why PS3? This is PS2. I had the controller on my lap. Maybe... I don't know, maybe it vibrated itself to pressing the button? everybody the pictures from our press nothing now i've made a really cool photo album too ah adventure on the high seas okay the food the cannons oh the shopping may i interject something so many good times hey look here's when this is after frank oz stopped doing uh fozzy now that was funny yeah those are the things i really like to and miss piggy Walks on the deck, Ah, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, those were nice too, Piggy. But but I was talking about playing those terrific games. You know, just just look at that tomato, huh? <sighs> it seems like only yesterday. It was only yesterday, but we can enjoy the memories immediately thanks to Muppet Lab's instantaneous photo processor. Yo, what's wrong with your fucking Indeed. mouth, Bunsen? And coming soon, the Muppet Lab's pre-processor. Why don't you have like mouth darkness? Before you've taken them. May I interject something? Remember how excited we were no. on that first day? No, first Sam. Class, all the way. Yo -ho -ho again. Fuck! 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 Yeah, fuck! Yeah. Fuck! 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 Boy, we've been going down for a long time. Oh, I thought first class would be up top. This is what the tickets lady tells me. First class. This is what we wanted, no? Smell bad. May I interject something? That's not Sam's so voice. Down. That was... I do a better Sam We're impression than that. Room now. Cool. <laughs> Something's odd. Let me see those tickets, Pepe. Deck one. You, you bought tickets for deck one? See? Si. Deck one. Primero. First. This is the first class you wanted, okay? First class, Pepe, not first deck. There goes steerage. Wow, we're oh in God. the keel. Smell bad. Pepe, how could this happen? Do you know, I am not sure I appreciate your tone, Carmen. First class, first day. What is the difference, okay? How the fuck do you hit Uncanny Valley with Muppets? They succeeded. If this is first class, I'd hate to see the last one. Bad, bad, this bad, is incredible! Bad, the brochure doesn't bad, do it justice. Bad, Gonzo is right. We should I like Gonzo's cheap suit. Bad, Let's party, bad, guys! Yeah! Oh no. Oh, what is going on here? It's better that way, chat. Just let it be. So apparently this is a Mario Party ripoff. Choose your Muppet. Um, you know, um, Kermit, Kermit is fine. Kermit Frog, ready to sail. And and Fozzy. Oh, I am so excited. And Gonzo. Yeah, I, the great Gonzo shall win. And Miss Piggy, we'll just do you the main see, Muppet cast. See. Why not? Where's the buffet? Stinky cheese. Time for shuffle chalk. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it's it's just Mario Party, kind of. Are you sure you don't have any bears Expert, in your family? One might say. Huh. Not really getting close, am I? This is fun, but I do miss the pirates. Oh, you gotta hold the button down. This is cool. I'm just helping Fozzie, basically. Put the controller down. Yeah. Yes, exactly, Kermit. Huh? Darn. Yeah, this one's good. In a weird way. Ouch! Goodish. Wow! I'm a Apparently the rest of the game isn't. Fuzzy, we can't have that happen. When you got it, want it, baby. Fuck. Fuzzy! Fuzzy, you're hacking! Stop! Fuzzy, you're hacking! Oh my god, Fuzzy, you hacked. The bear one! You're joking! No, and thank goodness neither is he. No! Oh, oh, oh. It looks like, yeah, this is just, like, minigame collection stuff. This is Pigsty Party! How do you play? I'm gonna try, um, the, the party mode, or, or, like, the board mode. See what happens. I'm- this is already the board mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. That was amazing! Is this total amount of pig? That's total on screen. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. So it's five currently. Six. Are you taking this? So I'd six. Like to see that again. You gotta do it quickly. They're just smacking each other in, in the face. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Fuzzy wins! Righteous! It's a lot of minigames here. Dune buggies? It's time for a Dune buggies! Now get in! Wow, watch this be a better kart racing game than the other one. It's not bad. Okay, aside from some mild clipping, which don't worry about, just ignore that. Oh, you're supposed to knock them off into the abyss. This isn't going well. <laughs> I, li I like the candor from Kermit. I should just put down the controller. Maybe it's time to drink some arsenic. Uh-oh. No Wilkins coffee. Never took a lesson. Ginger, no! Oh, you can hold down R to, to make a tighter turn. Yeah, once you get used to the controls on this one, I'm sure it will be great. Surprisingly decent little clone of Mario Party, from what I can tell. But, um, yeah, controls are, are obviously, I'm having a, a little bit of a difficult time here, too, but that might just be my fault. Never took a lesson. You skipped over the controls? No, I, I read them real quick. I got them. It's, you know, it's only a couple buttons. It's just, uh, it's very precise. 
Tunggu. Put. Wow. The AI is hacking. Great. Technically, if an AI wins at a video game, that kind of means they are hacking, no? Alright, Miss Piggy! Looking good, I- Bunsen's Burners. Okay, let me play one more mini game and then I'll check out the board. Science has never been this much fun. Move, shoot. Easy controls this time. Ooh, we got some weird depth perception here. How do I kill Bunsen? It's like royalty free version of the mousetrap thing. Man, Muppet Shadow of the Colossus would be great. Where you just, like, climb on top of the Muppets and, like, stab them at their weak points as Kermit. I must revive Miss Piggy! Screw you, Fuzzy. Wonderful, Fuzzy, wonderful! My name. Hi, Hole Kermit the Frog Hola. here. Hey, uh, how did you build this game away? Anama. Anama. I guess each deck is a different uh, board. Still more boards than Super Mario Party. Oh, it's this thing. Do you remember this? Kind of... Oh, well, it's different. I was gonna say, this kind of looks like... It, you know the thing where you press the button and the rings go up? Yo, what the fuck is going on here? It's not... a board so much as it is free movement. Ah, financing! Some jingle. Strange. Auction? You're bidding on a party favor? never even heard of this game before today, before just now. Um... It's cool! I, I think I would have liked this game. Did you played this game? He wrote it. Spooner Cycle! Oh, I am so funny! Shut up, non- Frank Oz Fozzie. Kind of insane is what it is. Start. Get 
Espérese. I can't believe Kermit is that boy. This whole time, Kermit has been that boy for years. Whoa, we're going overboard! Going overboard by referencing that boy in 2020. Year of our Lord. Finally, I win a minigame. Cheers for the frogs! Yay! 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 Yeah, I'll do one full cycle of all of us moving. And uh, maybe we get another minigame or two in there as well. And then uh, I'll check out the credits. People are saying the credits are worth seeing for some reason, so... This is cool! Roll again, me hearty! Just checked. Powerhouse is being claimed by Latin Autor on YouTube. What's Powerhouse? Look how fast they are at bidding. Holy fuck. The thing you called the mousetrap song? Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know why I called it the mousetrap song. It was just the first thing that came to mind, I guess. Oh, boy. John Full Sauce may have his work cut out for him tonight. Guess we'll see. The future is getting closer and closer. Nice job, Kermit. Your turn, Kermit. In the boat. Just the, it's just weird watching, again, Muppets moving with their own legs. I know that makes no sense, but you know what I mean, chat, right? Just strange. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors? Fuck. Kermit's paw. Hey, Alright, you win. God damn it. All my credits. Screw you, animal. Good times again. Look, this is money's again. Okay, one more, one more mini game. It's crustacean crash. <laughs> knock crab out. Holy shit! I have to knock crabs out. Looks like yeah. When you when you do the auctions, like you just like you're just buying your way into winning. This is so silly. Look at those water graphics though on the top left. Some good stuff. Delicious. I'm having a lot of trouble smacking these crabs with a fish. This is like Monty Python tier. Chat, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Mother? Look, the hitboxes on these crabs kind of blows. Oh, I have to collect them. Uh oh, I'm a dumbass. This is fabulous, okay? I only have to smack my opponents. I feel like such a turd. Turdmit the frog here!
Okay, is there a credit section? Let's find out. Credits, there it is. I, I was told to check out the credits, so I don't know why. As I stroll around the deck, oh my god. Buffet, I check out my score up on the display. I need a hip, no disc, and more cruise credits too. One more party favor will put me into the lead. But the next game is really tough. I'm not too good at too cool, but it may be enough to put me over the edge. My opponent sees six, so I take a deep breath and give the buttons a click. <laughs> One door's red and the other's blue. When you play the Muppets Party Cruise, it's all about the games you choose. When you play the Muppets Party Cruise. One door's red and the other's <laughs> blue. When you play the Muppets Party Cruise. All about the games you choose when you play the Muppets Party, Party Cruise. Cruise. Piggy's in the lead, Pepe standing tall, oh my God. blasting at the molecules, dropping all the gumballs. I think I'm in trouble because the score's looking grim. I better find a yellow door and get a really good spin. Look, my flippers are stiff. Look at the sweat on my lip. Look, I don't need all this pressure on my vacation trip. But there's only one winner, just one way to succeed. So keep me off the danger squares and roll that nine that I need. One door is red and the other is blue. This is so worth play it. The Muppets Party Cruise. It's all about the games you choose when you play the Muppets Party Cruise. Okay, just the claps. That's good. I like it. One door is red, the other is blue. When you play the Muppets, Man, chat is getting some like participation trophies tonight because between Kermy please and the clap emotes. You guys are in good shape. Wow. As I stroll around the deck looking for the buffet, I check out my score up um, on the display. I, I need a hip, no disc. I think we're done, game. right? One more party favor will it's looping. Me into the lead, but the next game is Muppet really fans up, around the world, thank you. Cool, I'm in this game, and you too are, chat. Okay. That was um a trip. That was absolutely insane. In the best possible way. Well, that is Muppet Games. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a Muppet party cruise through various Muppet games throughout the past 30 years almost. Yeah, 30 years. And uh, I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more Muppet Games. I don't know if I'll ever stream them, but there are definitely more Muppet Games. But this one was good. Muppet Party Cruise is quality Mario Party ripoff. I, I think it's great. Not really that many more Muppet games? Ah. Oh. Not according to Wikipedia, there ain't. Fuck, I've streamed every Muppet game. Oh no. No, it's okay. Um, well, this was fun. A little on the slow side, though. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, the, the only thing about this game is it's a little slow to get going, but... Cool concept. Does Mario Party in its own weird way. And it's got the Muppets, and it's fun. So that's the stream. Thank you, Jackal, for putting that pack together. And uh, everybody, thank you for watching. Kermit, thank you for showing up on stream. Hey, everybody. No. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We're going to take a quick break. I'll be back with more 3DO trash and then getting weird with it. The return of getting weird with it. So stick around if you want. And I'll be back shortly. Here's a song by the Meat Puppets, which seems oddly appropriate. 